Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Press Pass LA. I am Ryan Hooks and I'm here with the Team Ninja Warrior, Matt Eisman, Joe Morosky. We're talking the new show, Team Ninja Warrior on Esquire. So first off, tell us a little bit about the new show. Well, American Ninja Warrior, we had two people win this year, which we'd never had before. It was an amazing season and we decided, how can we create a, a to totally new dynamic? So we took teams of three, we put them on the course, and now people are going head to head. And to me, it's it just your foot is on the gas pedal the whole time. No race is ever in in is ever resolved until the very end. I, I just felt like this this show, American Ninja Warrior, with a huge shot of adrenaline in it. Yeah, it's insane because American Ninja Warrior, I'm used to standing up, sitting down, waiting a little bit. Team Ninja Warrior, I could not sit down. It would be a race. I'd, I'd talk to my ninja friend. I'd be like, "That was insane! I yeah. can't believe that just happened!" And all of a sudden the next batch would go and I'm like oh, oh I gotta stand up again I can't even see what's going on it was like that the entire time and the audience the people watching it's gonna be an amazing show to watch so then to confirm for those at home the team implies groups of people or does it imply individuals racing against each other so it, it's both it's groups of three teams of three would come out okay. and then they would compete head-to-head -head on the course simultaneously another team of three. So, yeah and so okay. you'd have one team go, the second team go, third team go, and then that was for a chance to go to the relay finale where you would have yeah. three, both all members of the team on the course simultaneously. So it'd be a relay at that point. And so it's, it's just so many moving parts, so many things that could go wrong, and so many awesome things that so went right. Cool. So cool. <laughs> it's amazing. It's good when things go wrong. It's even better when things go right. Uh, so in our case, yes. Absolutely. Nobody wants to get hurt. Nobody wants to see anything bad happen. And I've heard that, so they've built an all-new obstacle course for this mm -hmm. show. So what kind of things can we expect from the new course? Well, some of these obstacles are still the same. We have the warped wall. Uh, we have a new obstacle starting it off. We don't have the quintuple steps anymore. I think they're calling the Sonic... Uh, Sonic steps. Sonic steps so, and Sonic swing or yeah. something. Uh, kind of re relates to the Sonic Curve back in the Vegas Finals in Stage 1. Really cool obstacle, uh, built for speed. Uh, and th This course is not made to be extremely difficult. Like I said, it's made for speed. So we're looking at having a competitor go from here to here to here. And it, it, the adrenaline dump that you get from this was unlike anything else. And you think you've tapped into the 100% of what you can do, and all of a sudden you're behind and you break through to this next level. It, I'd, I'd, Remember, I, I've done things that I didn't think I could do. It's just going to be amazing Posting to watch. Hosting-wise, it was really the same. You know, I found a new gear, Ryan. It was really <laughs> impressive. I think it's some of the best no, work I've ever done. It a new donut. <laughs> took, it to, <laughs> took it to the next level <laughs> in the donut, booth. A lot of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he gets all that energy, right? Just new level, new donuts, and lots and lots of fun. So. Who can we see that's going to be returning to the show this season? Well, we've got Joe Morovsky. The um, weatherman. And Adon is his cousin. We have Brent, uh, Stephenson, Casey Catanzaro, Jesse okay, Graff, Megan Martin, the Wolf Pack. I mean, some of your favorites and then some all new people, people you've never seen before who turn in some phenomenal new performances. I think you're going to see a lot of your favorites and some new blood that people are going to love. Yeah, I mean, Jeff Britton's going to be there as well, and we can't forget him. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a monster. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, Esquire Network. Yep. January 19th on Esquire, Team Ninja Warrior. Says Matt Eisman, the host. How do you follow that, guys? I'm Ryan Hooks for Fest Pass LA. We'll see you next time.